Hey everybody, Rose Matter here and welcome to my reaction and discussion for episode 26 of Spy Family. So this is the first episode of the current season. I don't know if the season is still ongoing right now or if it has already wrapped up, but I am starting the most recent season and we ended the last season with Lloyd finally making contact with Donovan during like the big social event at the Eden Academy and it was like a surface level conversation between Lloyd and Donovan. Uh, the whole point was, you know, Lloyd was trying to get in with Donovan to be like, my daughter was the one who attacked your son. I apologize for that. Can I come over to your place and maybe bring you a gift? And Donovan shot him down. But they had a conversation about raising kids. And it was actually, there was a sweet moment with Lloyd kind of sticking up for Damien, talking about how like Damien obviously idolizes um, his father and, maybe uh like it's it's hard to know what kids are thinking and he mentioned about how like he has a hard time with Anya sometimes but he still loves her um so they had a little bit of a moment there so they've made contact there might be an in um uh, maybe if Anya can continue with her operation friendship and actually be successful um uh, it's also cute where Damien admitted that he wants to be friends with Anya because he has a little crush on her but he keeps letting his his pride get in the way so there's that. Um, where it's going to go from here, we'll see. Will uh, Lloyd and Anya be able to kind of break through, uh, you know, the, the shell of the, you know, Donovan and Damien and actually get invited to their place? Who knows? Uh, so let's go ahead. Let's watch episode 26 and I will give you guys my thoughts afterwards. All right. Time for yet another recap, although this makes sense because this is the first episode of the new season. But this is the nice thing about coming into a show late is almost all of the shows are already out, so I can just jump right into it. There's no waiting for me. <laughs> Your. <laughs> yeah, she's an assassin, but we barely see any of that. Maybe some. Maybe we'll get to see some of that this uh, this season. And also get into Anya's backstory as well, and Bond also. Bond sorely underused so far. I hope. I hope that we'll see more Bond, especially. Oh, and this is exciting. With the new season, we also have a new opening and closing, and I love them. They've been two for two so far about being very good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is this? It is certainly interesting. <laughs> okay, they're going for more kind of a minimalist look. <laughs> it's very cutesy, though. <laughs> oh, I love, I love the kind of the insight into the family life when they just have those little moments like that. I love like Lloyd having to step over Bond. Having a dog, I know how that is. So just like dogs just get in the way. <laughs> you just got to maneuver around them. This is certainly, this is uh, giving me vibes of like the first opening it had where it was very cutesy. Uh, a little bit like comedic, uh, a little bit outlandish. <laughs> what is with the stomping of the feet? It's so funny. <laughs> uh, the second one was like the one I felt that was more stylistic in terms of like a more of a realistic one. But that was, that was cute. That was cute. Oh, wow. Okay, we're starting violence. Okay. Oh, Yor. Oh my gosh. I was just talking about, like, I want to see Yor actually at her job and not her civil servant job. 
I just love the juxtaposition of her just being like covered in blood in her cool assassin outfit, just talking about just mini like menial things like, oh yeah, I gotta go get eggs on the way home. That makes this makes me excited that we're finally seeing Yor at her job. Follow Mama and Papa. I just love how it's opening like so violent with just men just on the floor dead and bloody. And then the episode's called Follow Mama and Papa. <laughs> <laughs> and of course there's Bond Man oh is this the whole thing about follow mama and papa about like she's got a you know she's taken after the show like I gotta trail someone she... oh I'm a little worried if she follows mama to work <laughs> Oh boy, that like, she might get caught up into some dangerous stuff. Oh, did she? Did she get hurt? That dude. Oh, she definitely got hurt. Did she get shot? Because the guy pointed a gun at her. Obviously, she's got to hide it. And she can't go to the hospital because Lloyd works there. Oh, because she got shot in the butt. <laughs> She's just going to be standing a lot. And Anya's going to be able to know this, that Mama got shot in the butt. <laughs> in the butt. Oh, poor Anya. Anya. <laughs> what if, like, Anya's like, I will help you take that bullet out of your butt. <laughs> That's not usually how gunshot wounds work. I, I don't assume it's like a cold. You're not just gonna get over it the next day. I've never been shot. I don't know this, but... And of course, like, he's gonna attribute it. <laughs> oh my god, I love that. I love when Lloyd does that. Oh, Lloyd's so sweet. I know he's doing this like, oh no, I don't wanna... I don't wanna push her too much, like, for the job thing. Like, for the sake of his mission. I know he says this, but I like to believe he truly does care about your. <laughs> I just love Lloyd. Like, he's so on top of things most of the time. But when it comes to your and it seems like maybe women in general, is he just... He's not quite all there. Oh my gosh. Oh, she's like... <laughs> I love this. So though Lloyd's probably just gonna do whatever he can to make her feel better. And she's just gonna be like, leave me alone, please. Like, I just want to get this taken care of. And look, man, if he came at me like that, in that tight shirt, uh, I'd be like, yep, I don't care if I'm feeling like shit. I will go on a date with you. And she's like, I just want to be left alone. Oh, and Anya's gonna trail them on their date. No, oh, no. You are, you gotta learn to lie better. Oh, hopefully Bond doesn't, like, nudge her in the bum. As dogs tend to do, that would hurt. <laughs> I love it she's being more forceful just because she's in pain. She's basically like, oh my gosh, damn. <laughs> Who's going to look after her? I hope he's not leaving her to bond. <laughs> Although that would be fun. They could get into shenanigans while they're gone. I'm assuming... Oh, okay, Frankie's taking care of them. Damn, they are just... They always look so good. Such a classy looking couple.
he just keeps buying him off. <laughs> it's like, oh, he's like a prostitute just here. Go get yourself something nice. Oh my gosh, look at them. So, so good looking. Oh no, she's going to be like, I got to sit. <gasps> oh my gosh, I would just be like, ah. I guess I'm a simple bitch. I would like, even if he was just doing this, uh, you know, for ulterior reasons, I would be swooning. Absolutely. <laughs> it's like, oh no. <laughs> I love this episode already. Anything where she can't sit down, he's going to be like, that removes 42 other options. Yep, tailing. Exactly. <laughs> I love he's just like so down with it. He's like, I like to, you know, he's like, I want to be a spy instead of babysitting. Oh, this is going to be fun, Frankie. Are you wearing disguises and tailing them? Oh, this is this is great. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Any excuse to see Anya in more outfits, too. And poor Bond just left. Left behind to not do anything. I just want to know, like, how is how is your gonna con like how is the whole butt bullet thing gonna conclude? <laughs> I spotted them instantly. He's like, ah, whatever. The little munchkin wants to feel good. Oh, she looks so pissed. Uh, she's like, nope, dress flowing. Good. Nope. I sure don't. <laughs> she would look good in anything. <laughs> oh, poor Lloyd, man. He's trying. Oh, in a movie theater where you have to sit. She's <laughs> just standing. Oh my gosh. It'd be funny if someone yelled at her and she'd be like, say that again, bitch. Say that again. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Oh, hmm. <laughs> My butt. <laughs> oh, she's just getting more angry. You know what you could do? You could ask her. You could ask her. You know, just an assumption.
Once again, maybe ask her and she could be like, hey, can we get maybe just like some street food where we don't have to sit? Oh, oh. You think Lloyd would have caught on about the fact that she's been standing the whole time? That like maybe something's wrong with her physically? Usually he's a little bit more perceptive than that. Oh, she's so cute. I would be like for her, I'd be like, I'll make an exception for you. You're adorable. Oh. Oh, shit. They're coming to get her. Oh, this just got interesting. Oh no. Is he gonna try and like poison her? Or does he think she's coming back to like take him out? Right? Be like, she saw me, so. Oh boy. What are the odds of this? <laughs> That's about how it would go, I imagine. Let's get a divorce. And then Fiona will just. Fiona will just show up and be like, yes. Yeah, no one can, no one can turn down Anya. Infiltration. Oh, blowfish. Oh, well, of course, right? And that's supposed to be poisonous, right? You have to cut it really specifically. Yep. So, of course, they're going to screw this up. He's going to serve it. Yep. Or do that. <laughs> oh, no, no. Anya's going to, like, jump in from the rafters and just, like, come down and knock it out of her hand or something. <laughs> Or maybe Frankie can use one of his things to, uh, his tools to stop her from drinking it. But how is Anya going to be able to tell him that? She can't. <gasps> maybe she's just that tough that it does nothing to her. Oh. Or not? Uh-oh. That's no good. Oh! <laughs> okay. <laughs> this woman has built up immunity poison. There we go. Excellent. She's like, I'm crunk. <laughs> Hell yeah. It's just like she just got flipped. She just had one drink and she's like, Hell yeah. So he's like, fuck, I just need to get her drunk. <laughs> I should have just done that from the beginning. Uh, blowfish poison is very dangerous, so please don't try this at home. <laughs> oh boy, alright. So is she gonna be the one to step in and do something? Will Lloyd protect her? Or will Anya and Frankie do something? No, oh, no, Anya's taking care of it herself. Go, girl. That's right. Okay, so maybe Anya's, she's gonna hear this and she's gonna be able to, like, hide all that stuff so he can't do anything. 
Oh. Oh, this Anya is learning from both the Bondman and from her parents, too. <laughs> it's like home alone in here. <laughs> How many other traps does she have set up? Oh! Oh, did she... Wait, did she hear what he said and she used it herself to make a bomb? Damn, very impressive, Anya. She could take after her mama or papa. Peanuts. <laughs> it's Anya's signature. She becomes an assassin or a spy. God help if he's allergic. <laughs> What? Why does she look so awesome? Where does she get that from? I love the idea that she just... <laughs> packed that. Damn, Anya, that's cold. I love it. He's like, damn, if I got taken down by a kid... Oh, and the fact that, like... He's like, how did you know? That sounds like a threat, right? Like, I know about your girlfriend, so maybe don't come after us. Or something might happen to your girlfriend. That was awesome. So I know she's half I know she's feeling good temporarily because of the drink, but she still has a bullet in her butt. Like, she still has to take care of that. She could get septic. <laughs> Still standing, of course. <laughs> uh, but please take care of that. Your, I'm sure she has like some sort of underground doctor she could go to if she's ever hurt, right? All right, we're gonna have a sweet moment here. This is like when he took her out on that date last time, and it didn't start off very well, but it ended. It ends better. <laughs> Aww. Are they gonna go? Aww. And then maybe Anya. There, <laughs> yep, of course. <laughs> They're like, why are you dressed like that also, Anya? Not very inconspicuous. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the poison had worn off. <laughs> He's like, oh, goddamn, I'm gonna have to take her for a date all the time. No, you just get her drunk. Give her poison, apparently. That was a really good episode. I really liked that one. Really good first episode of the new season. So they seem to have, yeah, about kind of the same kind of art style for the intro and outro. Pretty, somewhat similar. Really cute, though. They're really going with, like, the bright colors. The, the last one, the intro and outro, was so dark. The outro was especially, like, it felt kind of more grounded in reality. This is a little bit more kind of, I don't know, like, cartoonish. It's cute, though. Heh <laughs> No, there's Fiona. I mean, when's Fiona going to be making her and Yuri? They're going to be coming back at some point. They, they'll they have to. A 
it's just cute they, they have these like cartoony things to have Lloyd like look a little bit less serious, you know? <laughs> so cute. All right, let's see what's gonna happen next. All right, we're back at school. Bond's strategy to stay alive in Damien's field research trip. Okay. Well, it looks like we might get some go some Bond time, which is nice. Uh, poor Bond. I've not seen as much of him as I would have liked so far. So we have something that's going to focus on him. Interesting, though. Bond's trying to stay alive. What's that about? And then something that seems to be focused on Damien. So, like, almost no mention of, like... Anya or Yor or Lloyd at all, though we saw Lloyd a little bit in kind of his spy guard, but should be interesting. Well, for the first episode of the new season, I feel like that kind of had it all a lot of comedy. We finally got to see Yor at work, even so briefly, and seeing the consequences of that, um, which is nice. Like I said at the beginning, I was like, I want to see more like you know, yours an assassin, we know this, but we barely see anything about that. We see Lloyd a lot with his job. I know that's the focus, but yours an interesting character too, and we just kind of see her in the mother role, mostly with like some moments where she's badass, but that I love the whole thing about just like a bullet in the butt, having to go on a date, and she's just like pissed off, and Lloyd, once again, it's like the last time they went on the date where they both were feeling different things, and they just, they can't tell each other about you know, what they think, and as a result, things go poorly, but it all works out. They had a little bit of a bonding moment. It was very sweet. And then, of course, you got, like, Anya and Frankie just tailing them, and uh, Anya being badass, actually. It was really cool to see, like, her thing is usually about her having her, her powers, you know, and she did definitely use them, but, like, the things like coming up with that bomb and using the olive oil to take him out, uh, having some slick lines there, like, that was just pure badassery. And I want to see more of that from Anya. That was just really cool. And it was just, like, really, just a really fun episode. And I, I just, I love that they made the choice with her to get shot in the butt. <laughs> it's, it's not very often that she actually seems to get hurt at work, or if she does, it's nothing that bad. But, uh, just, that was a really fun one. That was a really enjoyable watch the whole way through. And I like the fact that they focused on just the one i think i do prefer when they have like the episodes and they focus on one main story rather than break it up into two separate ones which seems which eh, which seems to be what they're going to be doing with the next episode i don't mind those ones either but i feel like when you've got two stories that they need to tell in the span of like 20 minutes you can't really give enough time to each story to really i don't know explore it fully so i like these episodes where it's just like it's one one storyline that they're focusing on. I think I find those more enjoyable because I find that they're better paced and it's more cohesive because usually when they've got the two things, like with this, it's like the next episode is like Bond trying to stay alive from something and then you've got Damien on a school trip or whatever, like Damien doing some sort of like a something. Um, so it's like those two things don't aren't, they don't go together, you know? Um, but I'm sure it'll still be enjoyable. I'm excited to see, especially the Damien one. Eh, I don't know. If it's, especially if it's just focused on Damien and his friends. I don't know. I, like, Damien is, he's an okay character. Like, he's certainly come a long way. He's, he's definitely more of a sympathetic character than he started off with. But he's not my favorite character. But I'm excited to see a Bond-focused story, for sure. Uh, so yeah, I think this one was one of the more enjoyable episodes that I've watched recently. I don't think there's been really any bad episodes, but that one just the whole way through was just right from the beginning with like, you had, it start off really dark and then just the immediate comedy of your getting shot in the butt and then having to hide it uh, while like Lloyd thinks that he's pissed her off. So he tries to make it up to her and it just makes things worse. And then just Anya being like a cool spy with Uncle Frankie along for the rod. It was just really, really fun. Uh, so I really enjoyed this episode. Hopefully you guys did too. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned next time for episode 27. Until then, bye. Special shoutouts to my top tier patrons. Emily Hornsby, Zorn Ether, Revealing Storm, Asborn Kennedy, Icognito, Harry Gaziff, and Jared Fan.